Well, here we are again. Another unboxing video. Uh, somebody has to really stop me. I think I'm out of control. I keep having these deliveries almost every other day now. Um, this is the latest one. It just seemed like an interesting radio, that's all. That's why I bought this one. It kind of reminded me of the front of a car when I saw it. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Here we go with more of these bean things again. Here we go. Big Nest City coming up. And this one's different because this one happens to be a 1950s portable radio. But this happened to look interesting to me. Now, does it look like that looked like the front end of a car? I mean, come on. Like two headlights and a grill? Anyhow, that was a uh, Motorola radio, and this is the handle that doubles as an antenna as well, and um, it actually has tubes in it, and uh, so I'm going to have to play with that one and see if I can ever get that one to work. I don't really know. It does not have a cord with it, but it has... There's the, the pins for the to plugging it in. I do have a cord that has two pins or will accept two pins like that. So we will see if we can get that to go. So that's one item. And this was delivered in my box as well. This is a logic probe from IBM actually with all the little attachments and stuff and in the book and everything else is in there but that's a logic probe all right not that anybody knows what one is but that's what it is anyhow and then I'll leave that right here like this and then get this out of the way What we have over here was actually a guy on eBay I saw was selling tube testers and I have a whole bunch of 125 tubes that he's got. I have a tester but it wasn't good for the older tubes so I saw this, just had to have it. Uh, this is a precision apparatus tube tester. Uh, Tried it already. Problem with it before was this this little thing down here for the, the table didn't work. So my brother and I both worked on this and got the found out the gear was out of place and we actually even re-rolled the uh, two rolls on that so that it turns free now and we can actually read to test all the tubes. But uh, so that wasn't too bad of a deal. And so he hand delivered to me for $20. And he lives down in Carson City in that direction. So that's way south of me by about 30 miles. So anyway, so that's pretty much customer service there, I would say. Uh, I don't know any other places on eBay that would actually hand deliver something like this anyhow. I'm glad he did because he had it really well packed too. He said he had it uh, packed because originally he had sold it to somebody in Australia and they backed out of the deal and he had the thing all packed up. I mean the box was stapled. He had tons of these bean things in it. I mean it must have had, you know, about five pounds of the stupid things in there. And uh, so anyway, so I've never seen anybody do that. So I was pretty good at it. But, uh, 
Yeah. Believe this, I got radios everywhere. Look at this. Like I said, I got, I got that one. I've got this one. This one we got to work. This one works. The 37 over there in the corner, it was working, and then uh, one of the tubes decided to go. So now I got to go ahead and take a look at that, and make sure that's all that's wrong with it. But uh, it does work, though, on it. <laughs> Where I get it? When I get tubes in there, right? Anyway. So anyhow, <clears throat> Chubby, do you want to say anything, Chubby? Are you going to bark at me today? You going to bark at anybody? Huh? Are you? Oh, no? Oh, okay. You're just going to be be a nice, nice dog today. Okay. Good boy. Okay. Say <coughs> hi. I knew you were going to say I knew you were going to bark. All right.